It's sunny. It's sunny in Van. Welcome everyone. It's sunny in Van where the grass is always greener. On this channel, we try to educate you on real estate news as well as analysis on cash flow properties and investments, whether you're looking to sell and reinvest or you're looking to purchase another property. But before we get started, disclaimer alert, the content on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only. This is not financial or professional advice. My name is Sunny. I am a realtor. I am part of the Vancouver Life Real Estate Group and also part of EXP Realty Canada Brokerage. Please feel free to contact us for all your real estate needs. If you're looking to purchase a home, list your home, or looking for investments properties, cash flow properties, we're here to help you out with our expertise and our guidance. We have a condo just for you if you want one around $500,000. Stay tuned for the rest of this show and we'll deep dive into a condo that's right for you. We could go through some interest rates, look at your mortgage payments and see where the property will be in 5 to 10 years from now. But before we get into that analysis, let's look at some real estate news. It's sunny. It's sunny in Van. All right, guys, here's some news. The Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver has stated that in April, home sales in Vancouver have decreased by 16.5% compared to last year with 2,741 sales, 16% below the 10-year average. The benchmark price for residential properties reached $1.174 million, down 7.7% year after year, but up 2.4% since March. New listings dropped by 29.7% year after year and 22% below the 10-year average. Well, what does this mean for you? For homeowners, your property value may have decreased. However, it is slowly recovering. For sellers, there are fewer listings, but signs are showing that there is a comeback. For sellers, this means that there are less properties listed and there are a lot more buyers out there. However, the demand for property is increasing with limited supply. If you have a listing and you price your property right based upon the market conditions, you may get multiple offers. It is looking like it is a seller's market and some properties recently sold in the greater Vancouver area have had multiple offers. So if you're a homeowner looking to sell, this may be the right time. What does this mean for buyers? Well, what we have seen in the market right now is there is a lot more buyers that are looking for the right property. However, there's not a lot of listings out there. So you may come into a little bit of a competition with another buyer for a property that you really want. So be prepared that there may be an offer that you have to give that is above asking price. You consult with a real estate professional or realtor to guide you through this. They can help you with negotiations and better understand the area and understand if this is the right property for you based upon your needs. Now, if you need help purchasing property or listing a home, Make sure you reach out to us, part of the Vancouver Life Real Estate Group. It's Sunny and Van. The description will be below and we can help you out with that journey. All right, guys, let's get into this property that we promised in the beginning of the show that is around $500,000. We'll go through the listing itself and then we'll go through a little bit of analysis of a down payment, what to expect over 5, 10 years, what happens if you rent it out and see what your return on investment will be. All right, everyone, we are on realtor.ca. We're looking at a unit that is 505-10838 Wally Boulevard. And it is brought to you by my team lead here, Ryan Dash, part of EXP Realty. You can reach him at 778-898-0089. And his partner, Dan Wirtle at 604-809-0834. Let's quickly look at the listing description. Well, before we give that, let's look at some pictures before we get into the listing description. This is the outside, the main entrance. It's the hallway leading into this nice red door, unit 505. Nice interior. You got a kitchen here as well as open space here for your living room. Another shot from the living room looking into the entrance right here. You'll see that there is a den on this side to the left and if you go to the right you're going to enter into the washroom on this side you also have an entrance into that main bedroom 
as you can see there's a washer and dryer beside here when you walk through which will go into that washroom as well this is the bedroom right now it's it's a nice little space this is the master bedroom or the bedroom the bedroom with some closets on both sides it looks like and look at this nice big washroom nice countertops again a washer dryer or washer dryer this is your den you can have a nice little desk here the exterior of the building and it looks like that is all the pictures let's move on to the listing description here looking for a modern and stylish living space in the heart of surrey city central look no further than the maverick a top floor one bedroom apartment built by tian share this immaculate condo offers contemporary design and comfortable living when you enter the unit you will be greeted by a spacious and bright living room with large windows that offer great views of the surrounding neighborhood the modern kitchen features high-end ss appliances sleek cabinetry and a spacious countertop that is perfect for cooking and entertaining the bedroom is a cozy retreat with a large window that lets in plenty of natural light amenities include a fitness center a lounge area an outdoor terrace property is currently tenanted in month to month rental income this unit can be sold with the seller's fixed mortgage rate at 1.78 percent that is a very good deal considering where the interest rates are right now currently it has been on the market for 12 days this apartment building five stories age of the building two years old so it's a fairly new building annual property tax almost 1700 dollars for the year it's a 582 square foot unit let's look at the neighborhood the neighborhood looks like there are daycares grocery nearby transit friendly elementary schools car friendly pedestrian friendly parks restaurants shopping high school cycling friends so there's a lot of stuff around this area let's look at some stats in this area so this is the uh, the area that we're looking into where that condo is placed or that apartment looks like the population size in this area is 630 people average household income is fifty nine thousand dollars number of households in this area is 251 medium age is 38.6 households with children it is 64 percent and the average household size is 2.5 now let's take a deep dive into this property where we like to call this segment a sunny world it's sunny it's sunny in van all right everyone welcome to a sunny world and let's get right into this so this condo we have it here at four hundred ninety nine thousand dollars um property tax we have roughly 1746 we know that is less than that off that um, property that we saw on the listing on realtor.ca however just automatically calculator so it just gives us a rough average so we're just going to stick to that one bedroom one wash surrey condo apartment interest rate of 1.78 percent we're going to compound it seven annually at 1.79 percent and we'll see what this gives us you guys ready for this All right here we go now before we start the information included is for educational purposes only this is not financial or professional advice now we're going to start off this analysis with five percent down and if you were to spend five percent to get a four hundred ninety nine thousand dollar condo you're looking at a down payment of roughly twenty five thousand dollars which will leave you with a four hundred seventy five thousand dollar mortgage now what is the mortgage payment on something like this if it is 1.79 percent compounded seven only over 30 years you're looking at a mortgage payment roughly around 1700 dollars again make sure you've talked to a mortgage specialist at your bank a broker or we can potentially refer you to one to make sure you get your numbers to understand what you are comfortable with now as you can see this is a 1700 dollar mortgage now take a look at your life right now is this something that you can afford are you someone that is renting and you're looking to purchase something and be able to afford it you're looking at roughly 1700 dollars a month look at if you're living at home is this something that you can afford if you're going to move out if you are someone that is looking to invest and you're going to put money down you might have to put a little bit more but if you're looking at a mortgage rate of 1700 we'll go into if you were going to rent this out what type of rental you're going to get and how does that look a little bit later here right now 
we are just looking at this at this point as if this is principal residence at five percent down so it looks like it is seventeen hundred dollars now if this is something that you cannot afford maybe you should turn it to family maybe some friends put that money together and purchase a property now the biggest thing is creating wealth um, creating equity paying down that uh, principal and making sure that you have more of that ownership of that place and it's not a big mortgage later on now we don't know what's going to have the property market but we know over year after year let's say decades properties tends to increase so it is a little bit safer of a bet when you're dealing with property versus other investments that you can look into however the market does go up and it does go down so be wary of that and make sure that you're doing the right investment and you talk to that right realtor or that professional that could really guide you now seventeen hundred dollars a month if you split that between two people it might be 850 and you split that between four people you're looking at roughly 425 dollars each so it gets a little bit more affordable but the biggest thing that we're looking at here and what we're trying to educate is how do you win with real estate what is it that you're doing right now currently that you can invest your money into real estate you know maybe not go out as much maybe not go party let's just say or buy fancy cars and clothes etc maybe reinvest that money so it helps you out in your future and it accomplishes the goals that you may have for your family yourself your friends may want to be investing with you and you have a group of friends that you want to really get ahead in life because it is hard out there and especially if you're going to try to live in the lower mainland of vancouver the greater vancouver area property values have increased and how do you make sure that you can maintain that mortgage make sure that you're up with the property and you continue to grow with real estate so that's the biggest thing here let's look at a salary that you will be required to get a mortgage approved on this amount of loan which is like four hundred seventy four thousand dollars you're gonna need roughly around fifty seven thousand dollars to purchase this property well to be qualified let's just say now there's a lot of variables involved again this is only for educational purposes only it's just a guideline to give you a heads of what you're looking at when you're investing into this property now a mortgage advisor is going to be able to help you out with this now this is based upon if you had absolutely zero debt now how they typically get to this number is they look at your salary and they're going to only account for 39 percent of that salary towards that mortgage payment so they're looking for a salary of roughly fifty seven thousand dollars that would be able to you know out of this payment another good thing that you can see here is when you are paying on a month to month basis you're actually putting 996 dollars out of that 1700 towards the principal instead of paying all interest 996 so 700 dollars is roughly interest out of these payments but you're almost at a thousand dollars on the month to month building that equity so what does that mean that means in one year's time you would have built twelve thousand dollars of equity into this property and in five years time is looking at sixty two thousand dollars and in 10 years time that's a hundred thirty thousand dollars of equity built now this is huge and it helps out that the interest rate is very low so if the interest rate was let's say around five percent you're gonna see this number drastically jump to twenty five hundred dollars a month in mortgage payment versus what it was before so let's go back to 1.79 look at the huge difference so if you can secure that for you know five years that's a very good term on a property that's worth almost five hundred thousand dollars this would drastically help you afford this property versus what the market rates are currently again talk to that mortgage specialist now if you kept this for quite some time and you decided to sell it in five years you would potentially make eighty two thousand five hundred however this is considering that the property is increasing by 3.11 percent year after year now let's go into another part that we like to call sunny to the moon it's sunny it's sunny in van all right guys welcome to sunny to the moon and what we like doing in this part of the show is we like to look at what your return on investment would be if this was a rental property and you kept it for five ten years and what kind of rate of return you're going to get with 20 percent down to afford a five hundred thousand dollar mortgage you're going to put a hundred thousand dollars down which leaves you with roughly four hundred thousand dollar mortgage and if that is 1.79 percent over three years you're looking at a mortgage payment of roughly fourteen hundred dollars on a month to month basis again make sure you reach out to a mortgage advisor or a specialist to understand what your variables are and what your actual mortgage payment is going to be on a month to month basis but moving on forward 
if you were to purchase a property a condo in surrey and let's say it's one bedroom one watch like we're have right now and you were able to collect roughly 1650 a month in rental income what would this mean for you your investment is insane this is a great opportunity if this were where the cards land what i mean by this is out of 1433 if that is your mortgage payment and you are collecting 1650 a month with roughly 1750 profit tax a years accounted for into this payment you would be collecting 71 dollars roughly in rental income over and above paying off that mortgage 1650 is what you would collect you would pay off that mortgage month to month plus the monthly breakdown this is based upon a year so if we break down the monthly if we break this down monthly add that to this monthly mortgage payment you will be left with 71 dollars of rental income so you have now created a cash flow property this works because again this is at 1.79 percent if it was a little bit higher it'll be a little bit different here but this is still much better than if it was 5%. If it was roughly at 5%, you're still out of pocket $638.53 a month, which isn't bad considering that you're still getting $1650 a month. However, at 1.79%, that looks much better. So let's just break this down a little bit further and we're going to run this through one more time. So if you buy a property for $499,000, with a down payment, which is 20% equals roughly $100,000, you would be left with a mortgage amount of $400,000. Your monthly mortgage payment is roughly $1,433 a month. Now, with the potential rent of $1,650, let's just say that's what you get, and it's not guaranteed, your monthly gain would be roughly $71 a month. So you, on your down payment, yearly return on investment with your rent is 0.85 percent not the greatest but hey you're still building that cash flow now the equity built in five years with that rental income is very interesting because now you're at fifty two thousand dollars six hundred now fifty two thousand dollars over five years that's a lot of money and we're going to take this a little bit further now over and above that let's say the property value goes to five hundred eighty one thousand dollars in five years from 500,000 that's roughly $82,500 that you would potentially make if you were to sell that in five years so what does that mean now that means that you're with your down payment and your rent and your equity and your property value increase if you put that all together and you were to sell it in five years that's if the property did go up to roughly 581,000 you would make a 142% return. Now ask yourself, what is it that you're doing today that is getting you that return? If you're nowhere near that, then maybe property is something that you should be really looking into to secure your future financially. Now, the minimum salary required with, a, with rental, we're gonna take 50% of that rental income as consideration. You're going to need less than $40,000 to be approved for something like this. Again, this is educational purposes only. Make sure you reach out to a financial advisor or mortgage specialist or a broker that can really work with you, your current situation, and understand what numbers and variables will affect you and where you need to be. And if you really need to purchase a property, sell your property, we're here to help you and we can provide you with that professional advice there. Now, please do reach out. We'll leave a description below and let's take this a little bit further here now let's see where do we need to be to create a nice return on the down payment maybe you need to put 35 percent down putting 30 percent down or sorry 35 percent down you're going to need roughly hundred seventy five thousand dollars your mortgage payment is less than 1200 however at this point you're going to be returning almost 340 dollars month to month income after paying off that mortgage if you were to get rental of 1650 a month if you were to go oh, before we go further that's a 2.33 percent return but we're going to go down to 50 percent so if you're someone that has two hundred fifty thousand dollars down and you put that into a five hundred thousand dollar condo that is getting roughly 1650 in rent month to month 
on a 1.79% interest rate over 30 years amortization, your mortgage payment would only be roughly $900. At this point, you would make $600 a month, month to month, just off of the rental income because you're getting much more rental than your mortgage payment if it were to work out that you're getting rental as that much. So in a year's time, you would make $7,000 of net income and you would have built over $6,000 of equity in that home. Over five years, you would be at $40,000 and you would have built $32,000 of, of equity into that home. If you combine the rent as well as the, the sorry, if you combine the rent over and above what the mortgage was, the extra cash flow that you're making and you add the equity in five years you're at seventy two thousand dollars which is a significant amount that is something that you would definitely want to look into if you do have two hundred fifty thousand dollars to put down on property like this you again you'll build a six hundred dollar month to month in income um, and that is roughly a 2.93 three percent return on your down payment and if you had a little bit more let's let, let's just say if you had a hundred percent down or even close to 100% down, let's do 75% down. Let's say if you had 75% down, where would you be? Now you're at $1,000 of rental income. So that's $1,000 of cash flow month to month. Over a year's time, you're over 12,000. Over five years, you're $66,000 built. Um, that's amazing. Your monthly payment is only $450 uh, based upon these numbers here, but look at how much you're gonna make over five years. And that's a good return. That's a 3.39% return on your down payment. If you can find something else as an investment that you make more money than this, then that's a great deal. If not, again, real estate is something to look into, especially when you're making almost $1,000 on that money. And let's say you keep it in the bank. If you're not making as much, you might as well invest. However, if it were to go up to $581,000 in five years time, now you can add another $82,000 to that. Once you sell after five years, that's quite a bit of money that you would be earning. That's 82 and 82. Let's just go 80 and 80. That's around $160,000 that you get as a return. Now that's a lot of information. We'll stop it right there on the return on investment. I hopefully this has helped you out. I know there's a lot of information. If, there, if there's a, something specific that you would like me to cover or you want a one-on-one -on -one and you just want a free consultation or just an understanding of where you stand with your current property if you're looking at a property whatever it may be please feel free to reach out to us i'll leave a description below and we'll be more than happy to help you out on your real estate journey with that being said thank you so much for spending your time with us here today sunny out thank you so much for staying all right, everyone, this wraps the show. Thank you so much for taking out the time and watching this show. And I hope that this show, this episode has given you a deep dive into real estate and investment, how to make a return on your money, how you can secure a financial future with passive wealth and passive income. This is what we all want. We want to be financially free. This channel, this show and myself are here to help you achieve those goals and those dreams for you and your family. So what are you waiting for? Contact us right now. Let's get that journey started. Let's find that property, wherever it may be. If we are not in that area, we can refer you to a realtor. You need help with a mortgage. We can refer you to a mortgage vendor and a mortgage specialist. Until next time, Sunny out. The clouds may gather, the winds may blow, but in my heart, I know Sunny, then let's go. Brighten your day, enjoy the show. It's sunny, and then it's sunny, and then stay a while, create a plan. It's sunny, and then it's sunny, and then here to help the best he can.